Hello, hello, hello guys. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about a uh, getting things done process. Uh, but it seems like um, we will be starting in a couple minutes because I need to open my beer first. So, um, how are you guys doing? Uh, before I get started, I, I wanted to let you know who I am. Uh, basically, I founded uh, two tech startups. Uh, one's called Invenced and one's called Crescio. Um, and I also founded a charity. As always, while you're tuning in, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, but today I'll be giving something away for free. Uh, David Allen's uh, giving, Getting Things Done uh, book, he wrote uh, a lot of methods that I've tried for uh, productivity and um, just time, time management in general um, have been kind of, they work for a week and then they stop working. So. Uh, this has been the best process so far, and, and by the way, thanks for the hearts. I appreciate the hearts. Um, hopefully those are hearts for giving something away for free because I love to do that. Um, and so what I was saying is a lot of the methods that I've uh, tried for time management and uh, getting things done is uh, they've worked for a little while and then they stopped working. So although I respect this man's process, his writing style did not follow suit. Appreciate those hearts again. Um, so. Uh, before I get into what this process is, I want to tell you my backstory, and so that'll kind of sell you on uh, eating into this process. Because my story is, I worked at a 40-hour-a-week job, and I also ran a charity and two startups out of my home. Um, and so you can think about all those things, and it's like that's a lot to do for one guy. So I started uh, adapting this process, and slowly but surely, I managed to. Uh, time manage all of those and still have free time. So uh, while I was doing all that, I read this book and then uh, wrote out a how-to guide, uh, sort of spark notes, if you will, for his book relating to current technology. So uh, for a limited time, I'll give it away for a free upon request, but you have to follow me and tweet to your followers to follow me um, and then just request it and I'll send it to you. So it's no big deal. Um, but before I go into what the doc is, I want to tell you uh, that once I learned the system, I was working 40 hours a week at my day job and then managing two tech startups and a charity all while having like free time to spend with family and, and people that I love. So I think that's uh, really helpful. And what you can achieve through this process is exactly that, is, is being able to accomplish uh, what you need to accomplish and also uh, spend time with the people that you love because that's what this life is really about. So. Um, once again, if you uh, tweet to your followers to follow me, and then um, I will give you guys that away for free. So um, people are often just busy, and, and I think that people confuse getting work done with staying busy. So uh, I'm here to clarify that this is going to help you accomplish what actually needs to get done and put aside all the things that are just kind of like filler time. So I work only on important stuff and then enjoy the rest of my life like with my fiance or whatever else I'm doing. So uh, about this prize document, it's broken down into four phases um, or three really. Uh, that that kind of made the most sense to me. So phase one is the structure on how you get stuff done, uh, how to build it, what it is, etc. And then uh, phase two is how to clean house, literally. So everything you need to go from beginning to free your, to freeing your front level thinking. Um, and then phase three or uh, phase two B is like the natural planning model, which uh, I actually went over in one of my other periscopes. So if you don't know me, you can check me out on YouTube. Uh, it's Joshua Aguirre or just Josh Aguirre. And the last name is A-G-U-I-R-R-E. And I have all of my old periscopes on there, so you can check me out there. Um, phase four is actually the review portion, um, which is essentially just developing the habit and staying organized through the system. So um, lastly, uh, before I get it, I get into each one of those phases, uh, if anyone is interested in getting a free copy of this, just tweet to your followers to follow me or follow me yourself or do both. That'd be great. Um, and I'm all about uh, free, so hearts for those free uh, items. Um, you can follow me uh, by swiping right um, and hitting follow, so I appreciate that. Um, and then if you're watching this on YouTube, you can also subscribe to receive all my latest videos. Um, if you guys have any questions, I see there's only three of you there right now, so if you guys have any questions, I can answer them pretty rapidly if you want to uh, shoot me some questions on startups, entrepreneurial advice, um, anything related to uh, business. I mean, I've done it all. I consider myself the jack of all trades, so if you will, so um, feel free to ask me any questions there.
Also, what my favorite beers are, I like Stella. Um, I have a peanut butter beer, which I haven't tried yet, but it sounds kind of gross and interesting. So, um, do we have any young professionals, any entrepreneurs, anybody that wants to be their own boss online here, or uh, does everybody like working for someone else? Because I know I pr appreciate being my own boss. It's a it's a lot easier to uh, manage everything. Um, so if you if you want to know more, you can uh, tweet to me. You can ask me questions. Um, I'm available for consulting, and I'll help you as best I can for free anytime. Um, but let me uh, go into those phases real quick. So the getting things done process is uh, what this guy built to after like doing 15 years of research. And so uh, you're trying to learn Swift so you can start reskitting apps. Awesome. I did a, um, uh, a another Periscope about that. Did you see that? It was going off of... Uh, uh, Chupa Mobile, and if there's this one guy that did uh, a lot of uh, reskinning apps, he did he reskinned 70 different apps, or rather like 30, and he reskinned them four to four or five times, um, and he made forty thousand dollars a month. So it's not so much about learning Swift; it's more about knowing how to read it. So you need to go on a lot of forums, um, do your research, and I mean basically just set up residual income and, and one of my future periscopes I'm going to be talking to you guys about I've been watching his videos and I'm super interested in doing it. cool yeah that guy's really cool and it it's it's super easy like people just don't want to spend the time to learn it but um, if you really sit down just take a few hours and and do it I mean I did it and I don't consider myself like a, a really hard coder or anything like that so I think you guys can uh, definitely do it if you put your mind to it but um on on building those apps, I I am doing a new a new Periscope soon that's going to be about making your money work for you because if you look at the crash in 2008, we're going to be expecting a new crash soon. Like it's not it's inevitable. So when that crash happens, we want to have something in place that's not a job that we can get fired from. So creating that residual income helps you get to that point. And creating iOS apps is the perfect example of that because you have something that you know kids are going to spend. 30 40 cents for you know to buy a new thing or uh, a dollar here and there and and that adds up I mean you can start with seven dollars a week on a low uh, on a low performing app and then hit all the way to like fifty thousand dollars a day like Flappy Bird so I mean it's not unrealistic to think that you yourself can do that too it's just the difference what sets people apart is there's people that have ideas and then there's people that act on those ideas and Taking a leap of faith on yourself is something that doesn't really exist anymore because we don't have like Albert Einstein's and whatnot. So people just uh, continue with their day, their day job, their nine to five, and that security of the the money that they have, and don't take a leap of faith, don't follow their passion, and then 40 years go by and they're like, man, I really wish I picked up guitar or something. And that's what I didn't want to do. So this is why I do this now, and um, I'm I'm so happy doing this stuff. So. If I can encourage and, and promote for other people to follow their dreams, like the more the better. Um, but if you guys are interested in learning about that, uh, getting things done process, it will help you to manage a day-to-day -day job and as well follow your de dreams until you can take that leap and drop the job and just tackle the dream. So um, the, the four phases are um, structure and how to build it. Uh, phase two would be how to clean house. Phase three is the natural planning model and how to accomplish projects uh, such as the iOS app, uh, knowing where to start, uh, what your purpose is, and it really defines uh, from a very basic standpoint how you get from point A to point B or even the end uh, with, with not knowing what you're doing. So if I give an example, I had to do a, a board meeting for the first time for a charity and I never knew how to start one or what to do or what needed to be there you know, who needs to take notes and whatnot. So I followed this natural planning model. It's like five steps and it really helped clarify everything. So if you have a task to do that you have no idea how to do, that could be one of, one of the things that you use. Um, and then finally, phase four is the weekly review, which is just uh, the review per portion of the, of the process and developing the habits for you. So lastly, if you are interested in receiving a copy, uh, please uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, retweet to your followers to follow me, and I will send you a copy of that process. 
Um, and I'm all about those uh, free uh, items, so please let people know that I give stuff away for free and follow me on Periscope, Twitter, um, YouTube, whatever, and um, I'll help you guys out as best I can. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in. Bye.